assemble is to remove the retaining ring. So if I back this nut up like this, I bottom out essentially. Uh -huh. It's hitting the the seal here and this spiral retaining ring. So the way to remove that is to see I find the end of it, which yeah, is right. If you need a tool to solder, I got fish solder here. Okay. Just pick here too, a couple of them. You gotta fish that edge out and there's a little notch in there to get the screwdriver in underneath and then you just chase it around. And now that's loose and that was the only thing holding that seal in so if I back it off the seal will kind of push out. Mm -hmm. When it was put together was that seal uh, one piece? No, we, we split it like that to get it on there. Okay. So now I can remove this nut completely. That's a floor seal. And set aside these pieces. And then this one is the same thing, but the opposite end of it. So we'll Spin this down to get access to it. This is also a spiral ring. So it's a bigger thread on that end. Yep. It'll drive the O-ring out that's sealing that end. So this is the part where I actually have to go to a vise to get it out. So we were talking about... So the, the pitch diameter is bigger, but is the, the pitch the same on the two threads? It, it it's gotta be, be right? right? It's yeah. gotta be. I don't know what that number is, but it's gotta be. So then you need a split ring pliers here to pop this pin out. This is what holds the clutch in place. <coughs> I want to stay on there. So now, you can see we were talking about the, this is the working position and this is the over travel position. So that, the ramped position is the over travel and the, the half moon is the working position. So mm -hmm. in a second I'll pull it apart and you'll be able to see the pin should be sitting in this one. And when you feel that little hitch as it disengages this clutch, it's actually the pin rolling in here. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, as you're winding it initially, you're working on both these sets of threads. But then once there's enough resistance, this one actually remains stationary. And this screw is moving inside of there as that pin rolls into this work, like travel position. Mm -hmm. And it's only operating off of that set. So I can't actually pull this straight off because there's a... Uh, cut that only goes so deep and so the pin is hitting so I actually have to go to the vise or a vise of some sort to clamp that. We don't have any vices here do we? We got a broken one over here if you want to So yeah you're gonna want to wrap it This is where you use like a Wilton vise. Yeah, you could use just a <laughs> crappy vise, yeah. yeah. I meant to put this on a, on a rubber pad so it doesn't skate around. around. Yeah. I got one over someplace. So I'm not going to put a ton of clamping force on it, just enough to kind of grip it. And then what I need to do here is just roll this out of that position. I don't to tighten it quite enough. Still not quite enough. Let me do it. 
there's some vices that we can use that are fully seated to the table too. I must have been doing it on the four inch earlier really, because it was popping on there easier. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's the other trick is if you pop it, like it, it pops there. If I just do this, mm -hmm. it's not going. If I do that, you can feel it. If you guys want to do this, you can feel what it feels like to get that pin from this position into there, and now it's freely moving. Let's see this. 